Hey, Pete here for RC Car Action and Boost with a surprise, another all new truck from Traxxas. I did not expect, and I'll bet you did not expect, a new vehicle so soon after the TRX-6, which was no small release and only just came out, but here it is. The Traxxas Max is here, and it's basically a downsized X-Max. It's about two-thirds the size of Traxxas' largest truck, but it is less than two-thirds the price. This one has a suggested selling price of $549.99 versus $929.99 for the big X-Max. And you get 100% X-Max performance. It's a 55 mile an hour truck with a 4S LiPo on board, sold separately. You can gear up to do 60 plus, or if you need to take things down a notch, you can do 3S or 2S LiPo as well, which makes this a very versatile vehicle. It is 110 scale. You have a 12.9 inch wheelbase versus an 18.9 inch wheelbase for the big X-Max. 2200 kV motor on board, VXL 4S power system, 285 ounce inch servo, same format servo as what's in the X-Max. So we will get inside this box right now, pull the body off, look at features and details of this new vehicle, and uh, see what's happening with the all new Traxxas Max. Let's start with a look at how big the truck is. Here I have the Max morphing with a Rustler 4x4 to give you a sense of its size in three dimensions. It is 10 scale, which for me is the Goldilocks size for a monster truck. It's still plenty big, but gives you a lot more versatility in terms of places where you can run it. Whereas the X-Max being huge, not quite as uh, easy to find a space to really run it to its full potential. Okay, here we are with the Max. I have got the bright orange one. There are also two black versions with blue or red graphics. If you want a more subdued look, I'll go ahead and show you those. Or you can get the bright orange like I've got here, which I'm pretty psyched for. You'll also notice no body clips on the truck like the latest Erevo, the Rustler 4x4, and the X-Max. There are no clips. You've got a quick release back here that will just let the body come off just like that, which of course is a much nicer way of doing it. And like those other trucks, you've got a reinforcing structure inside here. This big hook goes under the front shock tower. This is your latch back here. And the cab is supported with this internal structure. And that structure actually goes right out the back window as well to form these roll cage tubes, which are structural parts of the body. So this will definitely hold up well, especially with these uh, reinforcing grind rail type things on top. Uh, you roll the truck over at speed on pavement. You're not going to wear a hole through the body. These will take the brunt of that abuse. And also when you're using a self-riding feature, uh, the truck will rock on these hard plastic rails instead of wearing a hole through the roof. So the body off, you can see we've got this X-Max style kind of one piece look to the chassis. And the idea with this is that it spreads impact loads across a large area when everything kind of ties in together like this. That's a big part of what makes the X-Max as tough as it is, and that should lend a lot of toughness to this truck as well. In terms of what's on board, you've got the Validion VXL 4S speed control. You can see it's got a great big fan on there. There are machined heat sinks underneath, and you have big 10-gauge wires, so you have plenty of power handling capability there. The motor is a long can style. You can see the can peeking out from under the heat sink there. You've got a very aggressive machined aluminum heat sink and a big fan on top of the motor. It's a four pole 2200 kV with a five millimeter output shaft. So rugged stuff for the max. And of course you have a waterproof receiver box. Uh, this has got the TSM equipped receiver so that you have uh, Traxxas stability management to help uh, put down that 4S power. And the servo is the same style as what's in the X-Max, not the same model servo, but it's the same configuration. That's a, a 285 ounce inch servo. And with that extra big case, you've got plenty of room for larger gears and a big old motor in there to deliver all that torque and plenty of uh, durability because that servo is gonna definitely be taking some loads, moving those big tires around at speed. And the linkages are held double shear. Uh, the links are captured on each side. That way they're not gonna pop off in a crash or an impact. Battery tray is clipless as well. This just pops out, swings open to release the battery. I've got a big 4S 5000 milliamp in there. And if you have a taller pack, you can pop this piece off and that will give you extra room for a taller battery. And I 
it just snaps in and out. So that's really convenient and that uh, battery is definitely not going to go anywhere. Let me pull a wheel off and I'm going to do that with an 8mm driver because this truck has 8mm axle nuts, not the traditional 7mm. And Traxxas does give you a wrench for that. Instead of the traditional box wrench, you've got this guy. That way, if you don't have an 8mm nut driver, he'll be able to get the wheels off. So it's a good looking wheel. As you can see, there's this insert in there, and that will step the diameter down because you have a 8th scale style opening in there. And you can see it's got the Traxxas Spline Hex interface, which they've had since the E-Revo. That's a very rugged wheel. I like the design too. I like these open slots around the you know, circumference there. And it is a 2.8 inch wheel. Tires are new. They've got these multi-step lugs with plenty of siping and detailing in there. Should offer plenty of grip. And the carcass has a, a relatively flat profile across the top. So that should make it a good street tire as well. Any of these trucks that uh, you know will do 55 miles an hour, uh, they're gonna see a lot of street action even though they're emphatically off-road vehicles. With the wheel off, we can get a look at the GT Max shocks. These are threaded aluminum, not as big in diameter as the X Max. Uh, they are larger than Traxxas's GTR shocks, and you've got a really fat shock shaft there. Dual X rings inside, and the spring perch. You can see that the spring perch is held on with a screw. That way, they're not going to go jumping off there when you're out hammering the truck. And you can also see the wheelie bar on there. It's got the same wheelie bar wheels as the X-Max, and that's a fixed position bar that's not adjustable. I'll take off a front wheel so you can look at the front suspension. So the hinge pins are all captured, of course. You've got plenty of beef on the steering arm and the C-Hub. You have a one-piece upper arm and your steering linkages are also fixed length in one piece. The truck is designed to be as simple as possible as far as uh, maintenance and adjustments go. You also see how the arms have very broad bases where they attach to the truck, plenty of reinforcing structure, and they're all open so they don't collect dirt and debris, and it also lets the arms flex so you've got more durability. So it is full-time four-wheel drive. You have an aluminum shaft down the center here, which is fully enclosed. You're not gonna get dirt and debris in there. You have uh, a torque biasing center drive, which absorbs shock and distributes power just like it does in the X-Max. Not the exact same parts, but it is the same technology. Differentials are sealed and filled with silicone oil, and you've got a large module ring and pinion, so you're not gonna be stripping gears out. And you also have a heavy duty cush drive for the spur gear like in the X-Max. And what that does uh, is it's, it's not a slipper, it doesn't slip, but it does take the edge off of that big torque dump when you nail the throttle in high traction conditions. And that's gonna spare your spur gear from a lot of abuse. And as far as the mesh between the motor uh, pinion and the spur gear, uh, those are fixed settings. So you don't have to worry about setting gear mesh or having that wander off uh, in a big crash having a your gear mesh get knocked out and you wind up stripping a gear. That's not gonna happen with the Max. So that's a quick tour of the Traxxas Max. We're gonna get out and run this, of course. I have not run this specific truck that I'm looking at right now, but I have run a Max, and uh, it is a really exciting vehicle. Uh, there are plenty of other trucks that can go fast, but this one is really easy to drive, especially with the uh, TSM on the transmitter, uh, which you don't really notice working. I, I forgot that it had it. I just thought the truck was super easy to drive and then I realized, oh yeah, it's got TSM, uh, which you can turn down and it will make the truck more loose and require more attention to drive. But uh, I like it out of the box with the TSM turned up to about 50%. It just makes you feel like you're uh, really crushing it. And the truck is a blast to drive. It'll ride on that wheelie bar on 4S all day. Um, it's amazing how much power it puts down. Uh, but it's still very drivable and controllable. It's a lot of fun. It's not just you know a great big tire ballooning wango tango mess. You can really drive it. 
uh, you'll want to drive it on 4S. It's not just for speed runs. Uh, the truck is a lot of fun. But we'll get this specific one out and show you what it can do as well. But for now, that's a quick tour on the Max, uh, latest truck from Traxxas. 549.99 suggested selling price, probably a little more or probably a little less, I should say, once it's in stores. Uh, and you should be able to see these in stores now. They won't have them for sale, but they'll have uh, display models you can check out at your local Traxxas dealer. So I hope you will. It's a cool truck, and I'm really glad we got to look at one up close today. So thanks for watching. Wow.